Like I'm fairly buttoned down, but I get into confrontations regularly with with sort of public officials and things mm. like that. You know, I mean cops. No, not cops. Although it has happened, but danger zones for me are airports, train stations, oh, places yeah. like that. Where Do you have a problem with authority? Maybe, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Like I don't mind being governed, but I just like I hate well, I hate when a security person goes, "Excuse me, sir, I'm going to need you too." Right. I'm going to need you too, and it just immediately it just gets to that like. Yeah. You need me to what? I don't fucking work. Like I admit, <laughs> one of my favorite street jokes I heard, uh, <laughs> Jackie the Joke Man, Jackie Martin. I'm not going to do as good a job. I can't tell a good street joke. But it was basically a guy goes into a job interview, and the job interviewer goes, uh, "So tell me, what is uh, what would you say your biggest weakness is?" And the guy goes, "My biggest weakness? Well, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I guess I, I guess I'd have to say it's my honesty." And then the interview goes, your honesty? Well, I don't think you being honest around here is going to be a problem. And the guy goes, hey, I don't give a fuck what you think. <laughs> that's one of those things, like, beyond laughing at that, like, I so relate. Like, to me, the funny thing about that joke is not the obvious. To me, it's that guy feeling himself in a few moments when he gets this job. He has to fucking listen to this guy. I don't think you being honest is going to be a problem around here. Oh, ooh, you're going to give me a fucking cookie? I don't give a fuck what you think. Like, I, I, I wish more people were like that. I actually think the world would be a better place if more people were, were like that. If, if more people didn't give a fuck what other people thought. Yeah. I mean, I think it's healthy in a relationship. I for agree. For a wife to not give a fuck. You, you, you want to have their respect and all that, but you can't be like, I find myself with like my wife just going like, you see, I, I didn't lose my temper there, right? I'm a good boy, right? And then she'll be like, yeah, yeah, you know. And then that's what I, I, I don't really say I'm a good boy, but that's what I feel like I'm saying. Yeah. And then I hate myself afterwards going like, dude, you're, you're 48. When are you going to be fucking man enough <laughs> to just be comfortable with yourself? Well, because you're, because it's always a trade off, isn't it? When you're in a relationship you're, and, and it's important to keep score. Yeah, <laughs> it's important to say. Listen, you might want to just look at the balance sheet. No, this is this is what you have to do with women. On this is what's so hard as a guy is you have to you got to play like a mind game, and women are way better at the mind game. So already it's an away game. It's a hostile crowd. You're probably going to lose this, but what you have to do is you, you have to improve and never fucking bring it up, and that's what gets them on their heels. That's what scares them. Is if you're actually improving and becoming a better person and you're not once, see me keep going to my wife looking for the approval. She still feels a sense of power. Like, okay, he still needs me. He still needs me. Okay. But if you just are improving, they see you marching this positive direction and you're not looking over your shoulder and being like, all right, I'm going the right direction, right? All of a sudden you start acting like that. Then they'll scurry up. Like, what's going on with you? It kind of freaks them out. I don't know. Saying that out loud, I don't know why you'd want to do that to the person you're with, but like that gets back to the, I don't give a fuck what you think, because yeah. I think, you know, my insecurity is I do.